Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Yeah, I don't have an intro. So you're probably here for my TikTok. If not, I make TikTok videos. I do like VFX stuff like that and um, yeah. And I keep getting questions like, how do you do that? What app do you use? How, like, how do you get those lines? So I'm gonna cover mm, some of that stuff in this video. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do the little that. For this, I use After Effects and you do need a plugin. I'm gonna leave the plugin in the de description below. Uh, it is free. And if you're not already following my TikTok, it's at Isaiah Films. So yeah, let's get straight into After Effects. So now we're in After Effects. And like I said in the intro, for this you're gonna need the Saber plugin. It should look something like this. It's a hundred percent free. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you're new to After Effects, everything might seem overwhelming and confusing, but we're gonna try to break it down so it's less confusing. And with the Saber plugin, it's really simple. So what we're gonna do first is go over here, right click, go to over to new, create a solid, and and then I'm just gonna name it Saber, you can name it whatever. And I like to make it a black. Um, I, I recommend black, like if you use like blue or like any other colors, it might just throw off the Saber. So do that, click okay. And um, if you want to, you can also go up to here, layer, new, and then create a solid that way. But for now, we're just gonna do it like that. And then we're gonna go over here to effects, type in Saber. And it should be right here. We're just going to drag that onto here. And you're just going to see a black screen with a blue line. So basically what we're going to do here is go over here to mode. This is like the blending mode. And then go up here to screen. And that's going to kind of like get rid of the black background. So this is the clip you saw in the intro. And basically what we're going to do, you can see this. We're going to zoom out a little bit. Uh... So basically what I do first is there's like numbers of ways you can do this. This is just how I do it. But we're going to bring this out so it's enough to cover the screen. So we're going to go to this first frame when I'm about to swipe my hand down. And I'd say that's like right there. And we're going to just kind of like move it to that spot. And then we're just going to move it up here. And then the way I do it is I go over here, click P, and then you see this little like timer watch. I click that. That's going to set a keyframe right here. And I'm just going to hit control arrow key forward um, to go a couple frames just until my hand is down the screen. And then once it's like that, I'm going to take this, click on it, hold it, uh, hold shift and then drag it down like this. And then that's really how you get that effect. So let's see how it looks. It's looking pretty good right now. And then I go uh, to the side. So my hand's not completely off frame. So you wanna make sure like when you're cutting through the screen, if you want, you can put your hand through the frame. So that made no sense, but anyways. If you wanna do like multiple lines, what I do is I go over here, hit Control D, that'll duplicate it, and drag this to like where it's gonna start or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So this is about where the first frame is, where I'm going in. And then we're gonna click P on this and get rid of the keyframes. And then we're going to go over to rotation and change this to 90 degrees, so it's like that. And then I think we could get away with putting this off screen. So we're going to go here, it's about like right there. So we're going to go over to P, make that a keyframe, do the same step. And then we're going to drag this, hold shift, and I actually forgot to make it big enough to go through the screen so we're gonna do that and we're just gonna reset the keyframe and to undo something just hit Control Z and then that'll undo everything and 
yeah that's that's pretty much how you do that and if you want to adjust the line um, so click on this go to preset and you have all these different fonts and different like lines you can use um, like fire there's just there's numbers of things that you can use and if you want to change the color go over here there's different colors you can use and if you're ever lagging what you can do is go over here and if yours is on full then switch yours to quarter and what that's gonna do is basically it's gonna uh, put the resolution to quarter just so it's easier and faster to render and then you if it's still laggy you can also go over here to preview and then make sure this is quarter as well so if you wanted to like if you think this is like too thin or whatever what you can do is you can go to core size and then make that whatever you oh wrong one and go over to core size make that like as much as you want that's a lot um and then you can like go to glow intensity just play around with like the settings customize core like just just play around with the settings and whatever you like yeah all right so let's say i wanted to add like a text um but i wanted to use the saber plugin so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over here and make a new uh solid and just name this one text and then what we're gonna do is hit this right here you gonna we're just gonna put like zay j or whatever that is a really small print we're gonna make it like that and then what we're gonna do here is go to click on the solid layer go over here put the saber plugin in that and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set it to screen again go over to blending mode what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here to customize core click that and where it says saber right here we're gonna click that click text layer and then text layer where it says none uh, click on that and then whatever text you put just put click that and that's how you do that and as you can see it's really bright right there so we're gonna turn the glow intensity down a little bit and maybe the glow spread down and uh, honestly I don't like using this uh, preset for the text so we'll use something like uh, like trick right now. I'm just gonna use uh, we'll use neon So what we can do here is go over here to this eyeball. We can click this if you don't want that like white uh, Picture right there and click that and the I'm gonna put down the glow intensity Make it something like that and then just like sort of adjust the settings Even if you don't know what the setting is just kind of like play around with it and yeah so i actually don't want the text right here so i just wanted to show you guys how the effect works and then what you can do this is optional it doesn't really make that big of a difference but what you can do is highlight these keyframes click f9 on your keyboard and then that'll make it ease just to make it a little bit smoother it's it's not really necessary for something like this but yeah that, that's what you can do and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna adjust the lines and everything to how I like it and I'll show you guys how it looks after all right so I just got at how I liked it and this is how it turns out very easy very simple and yeah, it, it might seem very intimidating just because there's so much like going on, but really if you like break it down, it's really easy. And yeah, that is how you use most of the Saber plugin. I I can't really go into full like review on the Saber plugin because I just showed you what I know about the Saber plugin. All right, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed that tutorial, leave a comment down below if you want me to do more. Subscribe, hit like, and follow my TikTok at Isaiah Films. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day. Bye.